I did something that made you angry at my Darwin show. Yeah, look, I yeah. am glad hey, hey, we've saved this it. for the end because I don't think we're going to be able to continue on after I say this. Now, uh, okay. as you know, mate, I'm a father now. I'm growing up, I'm maturing, mm-hmm. and I take what we do very seriously because this is a business and yep. uh, your reputation, it's not just your reputation anymore. We're inextricably linked. So what you do reflects on me and the show. So I was and actually I very... That. And yeah. that's why I always try and uphold the best and most responsible brand now. And now that you're a father as well, mm. I've um, also tried to become more responsible. Um, just ignore everything I've done during the week. But I, from this week on, I'll really try and turn over a new leaf. There's one thing I can't ignore, okay? I could ignore the bar fights and the vibrators and the male strippers and the drinking, whatever, okay? That's fine. Okay. But thank you. I cannot cuz I wasn't past. planning on stopping. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if I look, if I couldn't ignore that, there wouldn't be a show. So, <laughs> uh, I have a very big issue with some of your on-stage behavior at your shows. Now, I, mm-hmm. you know, I'll I'll do controversial things at my shows. I'll do things that'll cause headlines, but I would never do this. I would never subject an audience to this. And what you've done, I think, is disgusting. You, Luke Kidgel, I... in your Darwin show, you performed mm-hmm. to a sold-out crowd wearing mm-hmm. fucking shorts. Okay? And, That's disgusting. And you're forgetting that I wore shorts and a singlet combo. Now... I want an official apology. I want you to look into the camera and apologize to that audience member and apologize to me and Keelan because wearing shorts on stage is bad enough, but shorts and a singlet, you couldn't get any more disrespectful than that. Mate, and I appreciate your concern and I'll, and I'll tell you why I'm not going to apologize is I did a poll on my Instagram story. Sure, controversial and I understand not everyone agrees that I should have got these glorious pins out on stage for all to see. I have a, a runner's body. I, I am elite, but it doesn't mean you need Had. to show it off. You know, <laughs> well, it's, it's lingering around some, somewhat. It's in there um, somewhere. Not a, it's in there somewhere. I could find it again is the point. Yeah. yeah in a few <laughs> photos from 2012. <laughs> that's, <laughs> Maybe that's oh, where you'll find it. Horrifically true. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, I won't be apologizing. I did a, Poll on my Instagram story uh, saying, King shit, yes, keep doing you, or no, no thank you, never again. 85% of people thought that what I wore was fine, comfortable, weather appropriate, and I guess stylish. It's it's just, uh, uh, it's for whatever reason, it just looks weird. On stage, it's not a stand, it's a, not a stand-up thing to do to wear shorts. Like, you look at any comedy special, any clip on YouTube from, like, amateur all the way to the most professional comedians in the world, you will notice not a single one of them is wearing shorts, and that's for a reason. What that reason is, I'm not sure, but I do know I don't like it. And neither do any I other got, comedians. It's like a running dude, thing that, a, like in Melbourne, whenever a comedian rocks up in shorts, they get bullied. Oh, yeah. The only people who I've copped heat off pretty much is from other comedians, right? Everyone yeah. else just thought, mate, you're a chill dude and you can dress how you want and I respect that. And people, I think, appreciated how bold of a move it was. People in Darwin were just confused because this is their cold season. They're like, mate, it's only 32. I'm wearing jeans and like a long sleeve like people are just they're like mate this is as cold as it gets here so they were confused as to why i was dressing like it was their 40 degree weather i will be wearing thermals and jeans at my darwin show next year (laughs) you're gonna regret that (laughs) so (laughs) um i got a message from uh will gibb uh fellow sydney comedian uh he goes mate um I am a gay comedian, but that is the gayest looking comedian <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. And and look, yeah. Will knows what gay looks like because he does not look like that at all. He's the he's probably the straightest looking comedian in the country. So he knows gay mm. when he sees it. He just he looks like the uh, lead singer of the chats. Um Yeah. Yeah, a bit. He hates that, by the way. He'll, he'll really get annoyed that we've said that. But well, you know, hey, man, you, look less like the guy, and then there won't yeah, be an issue. Yeah, I've just, you know, change. I don't know what you have to change, but 
You look a look, lot Will, like Will, if you're upset chat, about that, what I want you to do is just put down the phone, put down the laptop, look in the mirror and just scream <laughs> smoko at yourself. And if you think we're wrong, <laughs> feel free to say so. But I guarantee you we're not going to get a message going, you're actually wrong. <laughs> we're going to get, oh, yeah, it's true. <laughs> we love Will here. We need to get him on the show. He's a very Yes, we've got to get Will on. Um, but yeah, no, I won't be apologizing. Um, and I knew the ramifications going in. I knew that there was going to be a punishment that followed, uh, which is, you know what? Fair enough. Th- this is the position I was in. I agreed with you that it's not okay, but mm. I also didn't want to be the guy dripping on stage because it's like 33 degrees and I haven't, I'm not used to the heat. Like we've been in Melbourne winter, so yeah. it feels like 36 well, look, uh, as, as a father, me. I really want to instill in, in you and my son that actions have consequences and you're free to do whatever you like, but every action has a consequence. So just know that before you do anything reckless. You messaged me before I went on stage, uh, which I did see. And I, uh, this is when I was getting dressed and I could have backed out but i continued to go on you said this is an official violation of stand-up regulations and if you do this it will be a two-episode ban from wearing ganda on luke and lewis and i said mate make it a four-episode ban because i think i'm gonna wear a singlet too you then said i'm on strike so i'm not i'm not i'm not even sure why you turn up today because i thought you were striking but well um, is there a union on our show for for shit fashion sense or you need to start a union (laughs) Yeah, I'm, it's, it's a one-man union, and uh, I'm the chairman and the only member. You guys aren't allowed to join. I did, however, draw the line. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not reckless. Like, mm. I'm happy to cop a four-episode ban, and you notice I'm not wearing any items of Ganda clothing today. I've Good. gone the plain ASOS tee, and I'm not thrilled about it, Good, to be honest. That's it's good. Not my Last episode t-shirt. doesn't count. You weren't in it. This is episode one. Okay, that's fair. Um. He says, uh, and uh, I, I said, um, I will, however, not be risking a six-week garnet suspension for wearing thongs. No matter how tempting, clo- closed-toed shoes will not be worn. Oh, sorry, yeah, will be good. worn. Will be good. worn. And I did. And I made a point of that. And uh, a lot of people from Darwin, I said that. I was talking about it on stage. And I was talking that you saying that you were unhappy with me. And... Um, one guy just yelled out, like I said, so I'm, yeah, I'm wearing closed toe shoes. And one guy was just like, mate, that's a bit fucking fancy. Jesus, <laughs> really dressing up for us. Uh, <laughs> so a few people actually heckling me that I wasn't dressed down enough. Right. So when, I get, to, so when thermals, I, I get to Darwin mate, around next year and I show up with like wearing clothes, they're going to go, boo. I guess, you know what? Dude, it makes sense for Darwin. It seems to be fairly normal to just have male strippers as the entertainment. So seeing a guy performing with clothes on must be a bit off-putting. Well, yeah. At first, I thought it was weird. Then I just realized that it's just hot. So it's like it's just a good profession to have because you don't have to wear clothes the whole time. If you're off out wearing a hoodie here for your show next year, uh, you are they're just going to think you're an Eskimo or something like that. Yes. They're just going to be confused. Like, where does this man come from? But, um, yeah, so I'm not going to be apologizing. However, I am going to cop this slap on the wrist, which is a pretty big blow. Not being able to wear um, Ganda. And I'm not sponsored by them, by the way. I just really like their affordable, comfortable, and stylish That's threats. enough. Please That's sponsor enough. me, Ganda. Mate, Please. look, okay, I appreciate you coming forward uh, and telling me the truth, buddy. I'm proud of you, okay? Yeah. And Thank I'm not you. angry. I'm just a little bit disappointed, all right? But mm. that's okay. Well, I'm not sweaty, so <laughs> it was a, a really comfortable show, actually. How was I, that? I will, How was I will that? admit it. It felt weird. I, like yeah. you know what I realized? Like at the time, it was such a good call, and now I realize I'm gonna like watch the say like I post a clip from that show online. Like on you're TikTok. gonna regret it. Just, just no context as to why I'm wearing a singlet at all. Yeah, because just, the on this, I think this is why. Like on video. You cannot tell how hot or cold it is, obviously. No. So it's just going to look tell. really weird. I guarantee you, you, you can, post some you clips from that show, people bag. are going to be like, what's with the shorts? Oh, yeah. People are just going to think I'm a douchebag. And they are correct. Mm. 